Hello, this is Luke from yourmacteacher.com and I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about opening and saving documents on Mountain Lion and iCloud, mainly because so much has changed since Lion and Snow Leopard. So listen up because this is important. Now, I'm going to be showing everything today using pages, but this also applies to many other document programs so if you're using Keynote and Numbers, text edit, and also third party programs starting to use this as well. So um, this is all very relevant for the future. So I'm going to open up Pages. Pages is down here. And you'll see that when you open Pages, you're now presented with this view showing you all your documents on iCloud. So that's great because all these files are also on my iPad and iPhone, and I know they're all backed up online. So it's nice to know. If I want to create a new document, I'll just click New Document at the bottom. And this is my familiar screen for creating new documents. I'm just going to create an empty letter and use this as an example of all the new things you need to know. So I'm going to write a letter to my friend John. All I'm going to write is Hello John. And one feature which is really great in Mountain Lion is you can rename a file before you save it. If we come up to the file name at the top, and you can do a right click or click on this little arrow on the end and there's a new feature where you can click rename and you'll see that I can just type in what I want it to say letter to John and that's done now what's interesting is it's already started saving my document if I decide to suddenly stop using pages I'm going to click on the red button here pages is gone and I think well where's my document but when I come back to pages Remember, it opens up and shows me all my files on iCloud. Look, there's my document. So any file you rename and then decide not to save, it will always save in iCloud by default. So some people find that um, useful, some people may not. But it's important to know that that's what happens. However, if you did suddenly want to move it somewhere else, you can just drag it out of this window, say onto my desktop or my documents, and it will move it away from iCloud. Um, bear in mind this will remove it from your iPad and iPhone as well. I tell you what, I'm not going to move it from iCloud, so I'm just going to click cancel. But a great drag and drop approach to move it between locations. Right, let's go back into my letter to John so I can show you some more. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you next is about versions and how and how iCloud and how Mountain Line will always keep everything up to date and keep um, old versions of your documents. So I've already saved this, but I'm gonna write a bit more and say, how are you? Ooh, question mark. And if I wanna save a document, that'll be in the same way as I would before, file save, and it's saved. Um, see you later. Again, file save. Every time I've saved, it's as if it created another version of this letter, although it only appears in iCloud just at one time. But what's brilliant is you can go back at any stage and see how that document looked each time you saved it. This was a feature that's in Lion. Um, it's just renamed slightly. So to be able to see this, we're going to go to the File menu and we're going to go Revert To. This used to be called Browse Previous Versions, but now we click on Revert To, then Browse All Versions. And this is pretty space age. This looks awesome. So I've got my current document on the left-hand side and on the right, I've got all the times I've saved it. So I can see how it looked here. Just notice that when I saved it here, I hadn't written the last line of text. And from the left-hand side, I'm just going to choose the first time I saved it. And that's when I had my first line of text. So it's great that you can see how your documents look before. And you can copy and paste things between these or go back to how it was at a particular point in time by choosing Restore. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to restore this. So I'm just going to go back to how it is now and I'm just going to click done and just leave it as it is. So it's great that you can go back and still see that. So something else we may want to do is to create copies of files and we may have done this in the past by choosing save as. So this has changed a little bit as well. If we go to the file menu, instead of saying save as, we got duplicate. So if I click duplicate, you'll see that what jumps out is another copy of this letter. It's just on top of this one. It's got it doesn't have a name up yet, it's called Untitled, so I could give this a name up here. Uh, I think I'll rename it to Letter 2. There we do. 
that's my doorbell going in the background. And if I want to um, save this, I can go File Save. And because it's the first time I've saved it, rather than just closing out, I can specify a location. Notice that it wants to save it in iCloud by default. Uh, if you click on this list, there are more choices, yet it doesn't allow you to choose anywhere. Um, you might want to specify a specific folder that isn't on this list. I mean, you may, you may find that what you, where you do want to save it is on this list. But if you choose your house, your home folder, there's my doorbell again, then you can click on this triangle button on the end. Triangles like to expand and give you more choices. So if I click on this triangle button, then I can browse to specific locations, maybe a folder within a folder, and put it exactly where I want, which is pretty neat. Finally, another great new feature in Mountain Lion is to be able to move a file while you've got it open. So if I want to check first where the, a file is stored, you can right click or control click on the name of the document at the top. And I can see that this file is stored in my home folder, then in a folder called Dropbox, then in the folder called 2009. Perhaps I made a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be in a 2009 folder. Maybe it's meant to be in a 2012 folder. So I can click on this triangle in the end, give me some choices. And this is a great new feature, move. And I can move it to a different folder. So it's currently in my 2009 folder. If I click other at the bottom, I can specify. And I can say, actually, maybe it's supposed to be in this folder here called 2012. Click move. And if I check the location now by right clicking at the top, great little shortcut that. You can see now it's moved to a different folder. So there's lots of great new features on Mountain Line. Um, if you've got any comments, feel free to leave a comment on our website or on this YouTube channel. And feel free to follow us on Twitter. Um, our name is Your Mac Teacher. And you can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash yourmacteacher. Thank you.